All of our jurors are present. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. All right, the court understands uh, there's a verdict. Uh, who is our fourth person? Jury in seat 12. Yes, sir. Has the uh, jury reached a verdict on all counts? Yes, sir. All right, please hand the verdict form signed and unsigned to my baby. You leave it in our In the Superior Court of California, County of Los Angeles, Department 104, the people of the State of California versus Eric Ronald Holder Jr., case number BA 475908. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Eric Ronald Holder Jr., guilty of the crime of first degree murder of Ernius Ashkodom in violation of Penal Code Section 187, subsection A, a felony, as charged in count one of the indictment. We further find the allegation that in the commission of the above offense, a principal personally and intentionally discharged a firearm, to wit, a handgun, which proximately caused great bodily injury and death within the meaning of Penal Code Section 12022.53, subsection D, to be true. We further find the allegation that in the commission of the above offense, a principal personally and intentionally discharge a firearm to wit, a handgun, 
within the meaning of Penal Code Section 12022.53, subsection C, to be true. We further find the allegation that in the commission of the above offense, a principal personally used a firearm to wit a handgun within the meaning of Penal Code Section 12022.53, subsection B, to be true. This sixth day of July, 2022, juror seat number 12, fourth person. In the same case, title, and cause, we, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Eric Ronald Holder, Jr., not guilty of the crime of attempted murder of Gary Lathan in violation of Penal Code Sections 664-187, subsection A, a felony, as charged in count two of the indictment. This sixth day of July, 2022, juror seat number 12, four person. In the same case, title and cause, we, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Eric Ronald Holder, Jr., guilty of the crime of attempted voluntary manslaughter of Kerry Lathan in violation of Penal Code Sections 192, subsection A, a felony, a lesser offense than that charged in count one of the indictment. We further find the allegation that in the commission of the above offense, that said defendant personally used a firearm within the meaning of Penal Code Section 12022.5 to be true. We further find the allegation that in the commission of the above offense, that said defendant personally inflicted great bodily injury within the meaning of Penal Code Section 12022.7, subsection A, to be true. This sixth day of July, 2022, juror seat number 12, four person. In the same case, title and cause, we the jury in the above entitled action find the defendant, Ronald, Eric Ronald Holder, Jr., guilty of the crime of assault with a firearm on Kerry Lathan in violation of Penal Code Section 245, subsection A, subsection 2, a felony, as charged in count three of the indictment. We further find the allegation that in the commission of the above offense, that said defendant personally used a firearm within the meaning of Penal Code Section 12022.5, subsection A, and subsection D, to be true. We further find the allegation that in the commission of the above offense, that said defendant personally inflicted great bodily injury within the meaning of Penal Code Section 12022.7, subsection A, to be true. This sixth day of July, 2022, juror seat number 12, four person. <coughs> in the same case, title and cause, we the jury in the above entitled action find the defendant, Eric Ronald Holder, Jr., guilty of the crime of attempted voluntary manslaughter of Shermie Villanueva in violation of Penal Code Section 192, subsection A, a felony, a lesser offense than that charged in count four of the indictment. We further find the allegation that in the commission of the above offense, that said defendant personally used a firearm within the meaning of Penal Code Section 12022.5 to be true. This first day of July, 2022, juror seat number 12, four person. In this same case, title and cause, we the jury in the above entitled action find the defendant, Eric Ronald Holder, Jr., guilty of the crime of assault with a firearm on Shermie Villanueva in violation of Penal Code Section 245, subsection A, subsection 2, a felony, as charged in count five of the indictment. We further find the allegation that in the commission of the above offense, that said defendant personally used a firearm within the meaning of Penal Code Section 
22.5 subsection A and subsection D to be true. This first day of July 2022, juror seat number 12, four person. In the same case, title, and cause, we the jury in the above entitled matter find the defendant, Eric Ronald Holder Jr., guilty of the crime of possession of a firearm by a felon in violation of Penal Code Section 29800, subsection A, subsection 1, as charged in Count 6 of the indictment. This first day of July 2022, juror seat number 12, four person. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, are these your verdicts? So say you one, so say you all. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Can we decide which to have the jury in addition to poll? Yes, Your Honor. Please poll the individual. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, can you poll the jury and we approach on first? Yes. Clerk was reading uh, the verdict. Uh, Notice that there was a typo um, in the verdict for count one. The verdict for uh, count two. So what the court has done with consent of counsel 
uh, as to count one, it reads as to the 12022.53 D, C, and B allegations, it says a principal. The court has struck that and uh, I wrote in defendant three times. Um, and then as to count uh, two, the uh, lesser of attempted voluntary manslaughter, it said a lesser offense than that charge in count one. I'm stricken that that should be count two. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to return all the verdict forms to you. I'm going to ask you to go back in the uh, jury assembly room, I mean in the, in the jury room, and if these changes that I've written in do not change your verdicts, then I want you to re-sign the verdict form. If it does change your verdict in any way, you let the court know. And if you have any questions, this is highly unusual. It probably happens once in a thousand years, but it's happened in this case. And so I'm going to ask you to go back and return the verdict forms to you uh, and for you to uh, look at the changes that the court has made and if they're, they're typographical, but they're, I think, significant. And so if it does not change your verdict with the wording that I've, I've inserted, uh, then just resign the form. So you could, the 12 can retire back to the 13. In the Superior Court of the State of California, County of Los Angeles, Department 104, the people of the State of California versus Eric Ronald Holder Jr. in case number EA 4759018. We the jury in the above entitled action find the defendant, Eric Ronald Holder Jr. guilty of the crime of first degree murder of Ernius Aspidon in violation of Penal Code Section 187, subsection A, a felony as charged in count one of the indictment. 
We further find the allegation that in the commission of the above offense, the defendant personally and intentionally discharged a firearm to wit a handgun, which proximately caused great bodily injury and death within the meaning of Penal Code Section 12022.53, subsection D, to be true. We further find the allegation that in the commission of the above offense, the defendant personally and intentionally discharged a firearm to wit a handgun within the meaning of Penal Code Section 12022.53, subsection C, to be true. We further find the allegation that in the commission of the above offense, the defendant personally used a firearm to wit a handgun within the meaning of Penal Code Section 12022.53, subsection B, to be true. This sixth day of July, 2022, juror seat number 12, four person. In the same case, title and cause, we the jury in the above entitled action find the defendant, Eric Ronald Holder Jr., guilty of the crime of attempted voluntary manslaughter of Gary Lathan, of, excuse me, of Gary Lathan, in violation of Penal Code Section 192, subsection A, a felony, a lesser offense than that charged in count two of the indictment. We further find the allegation that in the commission of the above offense, that said defendant personally used a firearm within the meaning of Penal Code Section 12022.5 to be true. We further find the allegation that in the commission of the above offense, that said defendant personally inflicted great bodily injury within the meaning of Penal Code Section 12022.7, subsection A, to be true. This sixth day of July, 2022, juror seat number 12, four person. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, are these your verdicts? So say you one, so say you all. Yes. Now please hold the jury. And ladies and gentlemen, the polling obviously includes the corrected verdict forms. So when you're asked, are these your verdict forms, are these your verdicts, it goes to the corrected ones. All right. So go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, as I call your seat number, please answer by saying yes or no to the following question. Is this your verdict as to count one? Juror number one? Yes. Juror number two? Yes. Juror number three? Yes. Juror number four? Yes. Juror number five? Yes. Juror number six? Yes. Juror number seven? Yes. Juror number eight? Yes. Juror number nine? Yes. Juror number ten? Yes. Juror number eleven? Yes. Juror number twelve? Yes. Is this your verdict as to count two? Juror number one? Yes. Juror number two? Yes. Juror number three? Yes. Juror number four? Yes. Juror number five? Yes. Juror number six? Yes. Juror number seven? Yes. Juror number eight? Yes. Juror number nine? Yes. Juror number ten? Yes. Juror number eleven? Yes. Juror number twelve? Yes. Is this your verdict as to count three? Juror number one? Yes. Juror number two? Yes. Juror number three? Yes. Juror number four? Yes. Juror number five? Yes. Juror number six? Yes. Juror number seven? Yes. Juror number eight? Yes. Juror number nine? Yes. Juror number ten? Yes. Juror number eleven? Yes. Juror number twelve? Yes. Is this your verdict as to count four? Juror number one? Yes. Juror number two? Yes. Juror number three? Yes. Juror number four? Yes. Juror number five? Yes. Juror number six? Yes. Juror number eight? Yes. Juror number nine? Yes. Juror number ten? Yes. Juror number eleven? Yes. Juror number twelve? Yes. Is this your verdict as to count five? Juror number one? Yes. Juror number two? Yes. Juror number three? Yes. Juror number four? Yes. Juror number five? Yes. Juror number six? Yes. Juror number seven? Yes. Juror number eight? Yes. Juror number nine? Yes. Juror number ten? Yes. Juror number eleven? Yes. Juror number twelve? Yes. Is this your verdict as to count six? Juror number one? Yes. Juror number two? Yes. Juror number three? Yes. Juror number four? Yes. Juror number five? Yes. Juror number six? Yes. Juror number seven? Yes. Juror number eight? Yes. Juror number nine? Yes. Juror number ten? Yes. 
Adjourn number 11. Yes. Adjourn number 12. Yes. All right, thank you. Clerk would please uh, please uh, record the verdicts. Council waive uh, reading and recording? Yes, sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have uh, one last uh, jury instruction to read to you. Members and alternate members of the jury, you have now completed your service as jurors in this case. On behalf of the Superior Court, I want to thank you for giving your time and efforts to the administration of justice in this community. You have the absolute right to either discuss or not to discuss the jury deliberations or verdict with anyone. However, please be advised that, one, following discharge of the jury, uh, <coughs> the defense attorney or his representative or the prosecutor or his representative may discuss the jury deliberations or verdict with any member of the jury provided that the jury consents uh, to the discussion that the discussion occurs at a reasonable time and place. Two, any unreasonable contact with the juror uh, by uh, the attorneys or their representatives without the juror's consent must be immediately reported to me. Uh, the court order and shall be subject to uh, reasonable monetary sanctions. It's hereby ordered that the court's record of personnel, uh, jury identified, uh, sorry, it's hereby ordered that the court's record of uh, personal juror identifying information, including names, addresses, telephone numbers is sealed until further order of the court. In the event that any petition for access to the sealed information is set for hearing by the court, the affected juror or jurors will be given written notice of the time and place of the hearing. At the hearing, any affected former juror may appear in person, in writing, by telephone, or by counsel, and request that the hearing be closed so as to protect juror anonymity, and may uh, protest the release of the confidential information. Whether this confidential information or any part of it will be disclosed to the petitioner, and if so, under what terms and conditions or circumstances are matters within the court's discretion. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for your participation in this matter. Uh, you are now excused. We'll just go back to the. September 15th. The council and the court. That's fine. <laughs> right. That's fine. Right. Sir, you have a right to be sentenced before. Uh, do you waive time and agree that your sentencing take place on September 15th of 2022? Yes. All right. Um, so, the council joins, I take it. Yes. All right. Sentencing in this matter will be September 15th, 2022. This department ain't very anymore. Thank you. 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 Thank you.